行きましょう So, as we march ever closer to the end of the season for Ice Blade Sorcerer, we have now completed episode number 11. We have one episode left, which, of course, like most anime end up doing because it's super cheesy and it just kind of follows suit of every other person that's done it before. The last episode is literally called, like, The Ice Blade Sorcerer. It's like, oh, okay, here we go. So we have that coming uh, next episode. So we're going to end off the season exactly what I didn't want it to do, which was ending off the season and capping off this whole little Rebecca arc that really is only going to last, like, two or three episodes. And I've already kind of shared my disdain about it, but I'll sum it up in this quick thing, is I think the anime spent a lot of time, like, building a lot of different characters around them, uh, you know, and building a lot of different things, and then they shove in one last one because it they have to, right? They they did, you know, they they did the different three houses, so they kind of have to complete the whole, you know, trio here. And I just feel like it was a little bit forced, and it kind of sucks that it's at the end of the season. But hey, that's what they wanted to do, and that's what they did. So with this specific episode, I'm a little bit hot and cold on it. Um, the main thing I'm going to say, you know, um, I'm going to let you guys know here, trigger warning now. I'm going to let you know one thing that I effing hated about the episode, and um, it might trigger one or two of you, or maybe none of you. I don't know for sure, but it's just my opinion. Just remember that. But here's the thing is I absolutely effing hate this whole gender swap crap. And it's not because that it's be like it's not because it's a gender swap thing. It's just because of the way that it's done. And I just feel like it's just so forced. So originally when Ray did his little gender swap, you know, perfect girl transformation, okay, it's completely unbelievable. But yeah, okay, man. All right, sure, you can do it. And I know it sounds silly and super nitpicky, but it's like, hey, this is the thing that just like impaired my enjoyment of the episode. So when he originally did it, he did it because he was going to go and infiltrate an all-girl school. Well, he basically made it past the entrance of the school and was immediately found out and immediately revealed that he was very white. So it was like, okay, so it almost makes it, it almost makes it negligible originally that he decided to become Lily White or whatever, right? And it's just so stupid to me because I was like, okay, if he's going to do it, like, go, go full, go full, you know, go full in. But bro didn't, you know, he, he went full in past the entrance and then was like, well, I guess I'm Ray. Let me tell you about me now, Ariane. So it, I thought that was already stupid, but I was like, okay, I'm going to let it go. I nitpicked about it. Then we have this episode where it doesn't fit at all. They're running a maid cafe. They shove in the maid cafe a couple of times here, uh, really just for fan servicey stuff, right? They they shove it in because Arian visits or Ariana, whatever. Arian visits, and then they shoved it in again because Maria visits, uh, and she liked Lily. Uh, and they shove it in a couple of times, and then suddenly, like, he's the poster child for some reason. Instead of Amelia being the poster child, Ray's the poster child for this for some reason. So his whole class suddenly knows that he was this transformed girl, not just Amelia and his friends. So it's like, okay, that's weird. Uh, and then he, he transforms, becomes the perfect girl again, and then he, he decides to continue being that. It's just... It's just so dumb, and I felt like somebody at the studio, you know, somebody directing this was like, make him a girl. And they're like, but why? Because I said so. And they, they just did it. They just shoved it in there. So, I don't know. I think it's just hella stupid. All right, so that that's my piece. If it triggered you, sorry. Yell at me in the comments. But that's just how I felt. I was like, this, is, this shit's dumb. Like, okay. Now, moving on from that, I think the rest of the episode was okay. This, that's where the hot and cold, the cold part of it was that part. The hot part of it was uh, I enjoyed learning more about the Bradleys. I think most of the exposition was done towards the end of the episode. We basically learned that the Bradleys have been cursed for centuries. There's the there's a power that they obtained through their bloodline called the power of Kreutz, power of Kreutz, 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 Kreutz and Heiber. I don't know exactly how you have to say it. It looks very German to me, but uh, uh, Kreutz, Kreutz, 
uh, Kreutz. Um, apparently, this this certain power appears in their bloodline every few centuries, uh, and essentially, it that's what gives her the sorcery eye or whatever, and that's also what caused Maria to have r- white hair and red eyes. Is apparently the residue, the mana residue left over in Mama. Uh, basically caused Maria to come out that way. It's kind of like an like a like a like a born abnormality essentially. Uh, and if Rebecca doesn't learn how to overcome and control this power of hers, uh, typically these folks who have this curse only live to about twenty. So not only now do we have Ray who has next episode has to save her from whatever these douchebags are called, the weird random villain guys. I forget what the guy's name is. The The specific guy, his name was... Uh, damn, I wrote it down somewhere, guys. I am so sorry. Uh, I wrote the purple hair guy's name uh, somewhere. I'll see it in one second. But not only do we have to deal with, with, with that guy, but then even after he saves her, Rebecca, he's going to then have to also teach her how to... Um, Mr. E- is Mr. Evan? Is that what his name was? Evan? His name might have been Evan. Not only does he have to teach her, you know, uh, not only does he have to save her, he has to, has to teach her in how to control her, uh, her power as well. Then, you know, she's been seeing him in his in her visions, future visions and past visions, and he saw her in his dream as well. And it seems like we might never actually go further than that. We might not actually touch that. It might just been like set dressing for this stuff to come because it seems like next episode is going to be like the attack and the saving so it's like we might not even get to really know what her power really encompasses or at least they decide not to tackle it here they instead decide to have ray run four mornings in a row and say good morning to her and all that stuff they also did share a really cool little cute uh cut scene 30 second cut scene of them spending time at the festival we basically learned that rebecca's just also in love with ray as well uh, Maria probably will will be as well, which is her younger sister. And we learned this because Rebecca was really jealous that Maria was hugging Ray. So that was a whole entire ordeal as well. Uh, and it seems that even though Maria has a very prickly uh, type of uh, personality, she warmed up to Ray pretty quickly, even hugging him. So that was the whole thing too. Uh, the last thing I'll say is we also did see Ray in the past. Of course, Rebecca saw him as two. Uh, which just led her to asking, like, Ray, who are you? Uh, but we saw him, you know, getting hugged by uh, the pink-haired pink haired menace uh, lady as well uh, in the past when they were laying a friend to rest. So overall, this episode is kind of all over the place, in my opinion. Again, I was pretty hot and cold on it. There's a few things that I just simply did not like. A couple of things that I did like, again, like learning more about Rebecca's family. I think that context was really welcome. That uh, backstory is welcome. I just think it was like really shoved in right at the end of the episode. That exposition could have been done a lot earlier. Uh, but regardless, you know, it is what it is. It was what it was. It was an okay episode. Uh, we have one more left. At a very uh, middle of the road type of ordeal here. But, you know, again, this is one of those animes, much like another few animes this season, that has had moments of brilliance and moments of just sheer disappointment. Again, a very hot and cold but uh, if you just don't care about story at all and you just like the animation, I don't even know. Like, if like there's not enough etchy, there's not enough, like, etchy stuff here to just say, like, oh, F the story, I don't care about the story, to, like, really uphold everything else. I don't know. Let me know your feelings in the comments below. All right, I'm going to see you guys next week for the last episode, and I'll sum up everything next week. All right, it's been fun. Have a great week. Peace out.